welcome to another spooky episode of An Anthropologist Watches Amber and Reed. Ooh. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss doing that intro in November. I, I I just enjoy it. So today I wanted to try something different. Uh, somebody suggested that I do the larger me and a smaller Amber. It's my birthday month. I'm going to indulge my ego. That being said, we're gonna react to the video that Amber dropped last night around one o'clock in the morning and I know that because I was awake. <laughs> Don't ask. So I kind of sort of watched this at two times speed. There might, I think there's some stuff I vaguely remember there being some stuff to look at because I did watch it at one in the morning because that's that's my life. There's that. I do have some kind of cold coming on, so if there's a bunch of jump cuts, it's probably because I'm coughing, sneezing, or blowing my nose. Everything you ever needed to know. I'm expecting at least one interruption from my cat, so there's that. And yeah, my credentials going into this, as is in the title, I am an anthropologist by training. I am an archaeologist retired. I did study human evolution and human diet in my undergrad. Ironically, though, is it ironic? I don't know. I think I used that wrong. My undergraduate thesis was on um, a bottle assemblage from a historical site, from a historical site on campus. So um, it has nothing to do with what I was actually studying. But but that's what got me into archaeology. So there's that. Um, I'm a big historical archaeology fan. Go team history. Um, yeah, and before we get any further, I do want to say thank you to everyone who has been supporting the channel. You all rock. And thank you to all of my subscribers. We are almost to 2,000 subscribers. I mean, I know it says 17, 20 or something like that. But to me, that's really close to 2,000. When we get to 2,000, I will do an AMA, highly curated. And I will be taking the questions from my members first to my members Thank all of you. You guys rock. Thank you to everybody who's going to hit the thumbs up button. Bing, bing. You guys rock in your own special ways. And if you want to hit the thumbs down button, the algorithm does not care. So knock yourselves out. So she is sped up to time and a quarter. This one is called My Love Life Sucks. I'm not dieting. Let's go to the casino. All right. I love casinos for the reason of I don't gamble and I don't have anything against people who do gamble. It's fine. But the casino, the truly fascinating part of the casino is the psychology that goes into the design of a casino. It is designed in a way that once you enter, it's like a fly trap. Once you enter, you can't escape. It's a pitcher plant. You know, you, you go in and the, you, you're the fly and you're like, ooh, sweet, sweet honey. And you, you start going down the little hallway. And then the next thing you know, you're like sliding straight down into the, the stomach of the plant because you fell for it um there's a lot of good metaphors there actually and so that's why i really like casinos it's it's the the way that they manipulate the environment specifically to keep you engaged and to have you lose your sense of time so that's really fascinating to me if you've never been to a casino um unless you're somebody who has like unless you know you're somebody who has like an addictive personality because if you have that, you will, it's not a good time, not a good place for you to be. But otherwise, I really recommend going to a casino just and walking around, maybe not even playing, but just walking around because I think they're fascinating. But, and I think everyone else should find what I find fascinating, fascinating. So that being said, let's get into this. All right, new setup. Here we go. Hello, hello. Good morning. Hi. Welcome to a new vlog. So I showered, got ready for the day, did my typical morning. I I feel bad for her with the showering thing. Regardless of if she is or isn't showering, I, I don't care. But the fact that she's so defensive about it now that she feels like she has to announce to us that she showers. She has to mention it. She feels like she has to mention it in nearly every vlog. And I think she has since she moved. Every vlog mentioned, I showered, I showered, I showered. As if by saying it, it somehow wards off the criticism. 
I feel bad for her having to say that because I don't have to come on here and go, hey, you guys, I showered today. Like, that's not something I have to do. Y'all just give me the benefit of the doubt that I showered like a normal human being. You know, it's, I feel bad for her that she has to do that. So. Also, somebody was saying she's using filters. I've heard that from multiple people, not just in my comment section. I heard that a couple times on Kicking Geese's. Uh, yep. Live stream that I watched late. I don't know. I really don't. Um, I really don't know. I'm trying to look at like the side of her face right now and like her neck and that. Her her choker really does seem to be fitting better. So there's that. But I, I don't know about the filters. I really don't. I don't know if I think she is using them. I don't know if I don't think she's using them. Routine, but I'm currently standing in my closet and I have no idea what I want to wear today. A lot of you watching knows how that feels to have clothes, of course, but feel like, hmm, I have nothing to wear today. Yes, but no. I, I go through that because I have a very eclectic collection of clothes. I like the cottagecore slash dark academia look and I have curated my closet thereby. So, I mean, this really isn't that off from what I wear on, a, on the daily. Uh, so there's that. So yeah, sometimes I'm in there and I'm like, I'm going to a normal person gathering thing. What do I have that looks like a normal thing? But the fact that she thinks the majority of her audience just has too many clothes to know what to do with them is interesting. Because even with my closet, it's not... This little collection that she has right here, these are all of her dresses. She'll, she's going to tell us that in a second. That's pretty much how much clothing I own. Like, you could probably knock that down to two thirds of that. And that's probably everything I own. Um, Cause I hang my t-shirts up like a psychopath. But I don't know a lot of people who own so many clothes that they just can't keep track of them. So I don't know. But she does and she thinks that's the norm. She thinks that's what everyone does. And it's very interesting, I'm thinking out loud now, it's interesting to me that that's what she thinks the norm is because she's projecting her own life onto everyone else. I heard um, Milk Tea Reacts mention this in her last reaction to Foodie. I think maybe it was the last, last one. Anyway, that's pretty much the only Foodie, that is the only Foodie Beauty reaction channel I watch. Alex will cover her sometimes. But Milk Tea Reacts, I like her. I kind of like to mimic her style a little bit here. But she mentioned that the reason why uh, Chantel doesn't believe other people live a not-so-crappy life like hers is because Chantel believes that everybody is like her and they all live like her. They're just better at hiding it. And I think that's what's I think that's what's starting to happen with Amber. I think because she's so isolated and she lives inside her own bubble so much, I think she's beginning to believe that her life is very typical and the rest of us live very similarly. We just don't show it like she does. I'm not, I'm not going to compare Amber to Chantel because I personally don't see, other than they're both fat, I really don't see a commonality there. Uh, Chantel's a goddamn train wreck and I refuse to touch that with a 10-foot pole that's been sterilized. Not doing it. Uh, Amber. Amber's more human, I guess. So these are all my dresses uh, and that's what I prefer. I do have a couple shirts, not many. And these are like my sweaters and stuff, but I definitely don't need to be wearing that today because it's a little warm out. So I'm not really sure what type of moment. Um, I might want to wear this guy because it's see-through but i wear a black dress that's the one she wore in that horrible clip that has been burned into my retinas where she's like in the bathroom and she's like dancing she's got this on with a bra and i think an underskirt and that's it and 
Becky, I'm assuming, was filming her doing this, like, dance. And I'm just, ah, oh, I hate that. I can't ever unsee it. Andrea, obviously, because it's see-through, which I actually have over here in my shirts. Just like one of these guys here. All right, so here is my outfit. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cute. I do like it. I would even wear something like this. So it's it's not that it looks bad. It's just I'm kind of getting tired of the see-through clothes. <laughs> like, what? Why are you doing this? And why do you own so many? I have two shirts, two mesh shirts. That's it. Why do you own like 9 million of them? And half of them are boob windows. Half of them are boob windows. And I just, anyway. Okay, she's cute. I'm loving her. I literally have been wearing this necklace every single day. I just feel like it goes so good because I've also been wearing these hoops every single day. Like that's just been my go-to. So on my cute little bookshelf here, this is actually where I decided to put my perfume because it just made sense. And I thought it looked cute. So I will give Amber this. When she does organize and when she does decorate, she has a very sterile aesthetic like this is something that you would open up a home and gardens magazine or you know apartments today a magazine and you would see very minimalist monotone with a few highlighted colors here or there you would see this this is typical and amber's really nailed the aesthetic like i mean even this like you know, she's just got this little piece of amethyst hanging out over here. I think this is one that the uh, one of her subscribers sent to her right before she left. You know, so I I like even this looks really nice, especially since the bottles she picked are there. So I really do like Amber's aesthetic and Amber's style. Now, is it always clean like this? I don't know. I know my house isn't. So there's that. But I'm actually busy. Um... And my only defense is that I, 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 w I just wanted to say I actually really kind of like this, but it is very generic, very sterile, um, which tells you a little bit about Amber's perception of what a living space should look like. And since it's kind of so, th there's definitely touches here, like the, the perfume. Amber really likes perfume and she really likes collecting perfume bottles. And we've known that for a very long time. But besides that and the silver button, which she loves showing off, um, there's really not a whole lot of personality here. If you catch my drift. Yes, there's this accent piece. Yes, this is Amber's award, but lots of people will display an award or their diploma or things like that. It's very generic. This is pretty much the only real personality pop that she has going on here. So. What am I trying to say? I mean, basically that she's kind of devoid of a personality. Anyway. So today, I think I'm going to be wearing this one. KKW, which is a Kim Kardashian perfume. It oh, well, then you know it's high quality. I didn't even know the Kardashian. Of course the Kardashians have perfume. What don't they have? They probably have their own meal plans that you can have delivered to your door. It honestly smells so amazing. One of my faves for sure. Cat. Spritz here and spritz there. Cat I used to actually keep this in my Look purse, at him. but I keep a new one in there. Not a new oh. one, I just like switched it out. It's actually like- I'm not lying, I'm staring at the cat in the background. The little one to this, which is Blush by Kenneth Cole, which is also a really good one. Okay, so this is probably really silly. Uh, my perfume collection consists of Bath and Body Works body sprays. I have a Pearberry one that my bestest, bestest buddy gave to me this spring that <laughs> she's been holding on to for years because it's one of the old bottles um, and it still smells good. And then, yeah, I've got a jasmine scented one from Bath and Body Works and I've got a hyacinth. No, uh, yeah, honeysuckle. There we go. Scented one from Bath and Body Works. Like, I'm bougie, y'all. Bougie. At least to some people, which I understand it's gonna be, but my bucket list. I've always wanted to go to a casino. I know that's like so weird, but it is something on my bucket list and we're doing it today. We're currently at a casino. The only casino I've ever been. Look, there can't be that many casinos in Oklahoma. I'm 90% sure I could probably Google this and figure out where she's at if I wanted to put the effort into it. Why, why are you playing 
why do you why does amber think she's being so secretive and so clever that no one is going to figure out anything everybody knows where she lives now i mean even i know the city she's living in so i'm not going to say it because she hasn't shared it yet but the point is is that if you're determined and you get on the internet and you go i think to the farms the farms knows everything um you can pretty much i think find her address i'm gonna back that one up you can pretty much find everything about her on there now why not just tell us where you are even if people know that you went to such and such casino it's probably not going to tell them much more than you're in Oklahoma still. And we already know that. And you've admitted it. You know, like, there's no reason not to mention the name of the casino you're going to. Unless she still thinks somehow that she's playing some kind of shell game and we're not going to figure it out. We, the audience, aren't going to figure it out. I'm not going to because I won't put the effort into it. But I know there are people that will. So just nip that in the bud and tell us. I mean, when I was younger in high school, um, I did stay in Reno, Nevada for... Did she finally get like a gimbal or a selfie stick? Because that's what it looks like when I use mine. And the background swivels, but it keeps me in frame. I don't know. Oh, like five nights. And there was like casinos there, but I was 16, so... I literally just walked through one one time and since that point I was like oh my god that looks kind of fun so we're here uh-huh what do you mean don't don't forget to <laughs> my mom said don't forget to step off oh my god oh here we are folks we are here oh my god is that grandma Lynn or is that just random person at the casino oh my god I'm finally here at 32. I mean, it's not like it's Disneyland. And to be fair, I've seen better casinos. I'm not slamming Oklahoma's casino. I'm just saying I've been in better. I've been to better casinos. I flipped my hair, but I think my earbuds would fall out. I got these uh, jawbones. You know, complete tangent. I got these jawbones. They're really nice. I really like them. They do... They're like real tight on your head for obvious reasons. So when I take them off sometimes, it still feels like I have them pressing. They go right, right above your ear holes, right where your ears join your, well, where your jaw is, you know. <laughs> sometimes it, I take them off and I feel like I still have them on. Anyway. Look at all that. Flashing lights and everything. Okay, what do I do? 75. Do I press this button? Yeah. Okay. The button that says spin the wheel. All right. All right. Look. I don't know what that is. Is that 375 cents? Three dollars and seventy five cents. Yeah. Three dollars and seventy five cents. Okay. So how much for each spin is it? Seventy five cents. Seventy five cents. Okay. At the casino. Oh my god. I'm trying to get to go to church. Oh, it's this time. Is this my credit right here? Yeah. So it's about as exciting as watching her play bingo. I was going to go to a casino and actually gamble. I don't think I'd play the machines. I feel like it's too easy to lose your money on the machines. Because you'll lose. Tr they're designed to make you lose track. I think I would want to go like play cards or something. Just because I suck at it, and I think it would be at least I can be like, oh, I lost at poker or something. I don't know. I I obviously don't gamble. Do they even play cards in casinos anymore? That's how much I've won. That's how much you have total. Two, twenty dollars and twenty cents. Oh, and then you get to press the cash out when you're over it. When you're done. When you're done. Oh, okay. All right, I'm starting to get it, y'all. A little shop. Little shop. Little shop of horror. Oh, it's even the movie one. Yay! That's the best version of that. I've never seen it on like Broadway or anything. I don't even know if it made it to Broadway, but the movie Little Shop of Horrors, oh, one of my all time favorite movies. And I'm gonna be singing the songs all day long. Of horrors. Machine thingy. Badoop. Oh, it's the girls. It's the Badoop girls. The background singers. <laughs> 
So you get free drinks here. So I have Diet Pepsi. Yum. Yeah. You get free drinks. I think if you're of a certain membership level, you get free food. You get cheap food if you don't i mean they do everything they can to keep you in there they don't want you leaving so yeah if giving you food and drink keeps you in the casino longer hell yeah you can have all you want now go spend your money um, high stakes that'd be where i go lose my money i'm thinking i don't need to go to a casino <laughs> what is wrong with me What is this? Hello, hello. Okay, so I'm waiting. Has she stopped petting? The only time she hasn't been petting her hair is when she was gambling and when she had the drink in her hand because her hand was busy and she couldn't pet herself. Otherwise, since we have left the house, I think even before we left the house, all she has done is constant, nonstop playing and petting and whooshing her hair around like she's really feeling her hair lately i will say the crimping looks okay on her i'm you know i'm not a fan of the crimping but that's just me but it does look good on her hair but her hair overall maybe that's what she's doing she gets a lot of criticism for her hair because it's not healthy and she doesn't do anything to actually keep the hair up so maybe, you know how she can be. So maybe this is her flaunting that in front of us, kind of trying to like bait the bull kind of a thing. You know, like, look at my shitty hair. Um, maybe that's what's going on. Maybe a lot of people, it does look like preening and it does look like she's like trying to attract somebody. So there's that. But um, I think maybe it's actually to get, to get the audience riled up. I think maybe that might be part of why she's doing it. All right, and this is the reason why I'm not so sure about the filters, you guys. If she had filters on, you wouldn't see these dark circles. You wouldn't see this. Is that there? Yeah. You wouldn't see this little dot on her. Is that actually on her face? All right, anyway, I checked. It's not my screen. She wouldn't have these little blemishes going on. Um... She wouldn't have whatever the hell that is. Has she got another hickey? Is she going to tell us she's got another hickey? I don't know. That's just why I'm like not that sure about the, like this discoloration wouldn't be there. That's why I'm just not so sure about the filters, you guys. It's just, there's too many imperfections. Like her skin wouldn't be so, like there's three different colors here on her skin. That would have been evened out. I did notice the other day that she had uh, uh, forehead wrinkles. I noticed that I could see forehead wrinkles on her the other day, and I can't see them right now. Also, it would, like, smooth these lines out, and even this line. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But I'm kind of leaning towards I don't think she's got filters on. At least not in this shot. Waiting for my mom. She went into the bathroom. I had so much fun. We just like hopped around from machine to machine. I I played like easy. Did you hop like bunnies? Over 20. It was a great time. I think the most I won like from one spin was like 43 or something like that. So it was really fun. The Little Shop of Horrors was definitely my favorite. It was my mom's too, but she's never even seen that movie. So I was like, mom, oh my god, there's a huge bumblebee. Okay, I'm scared. I need to go. Fun fact about bumblebees. They won't sting you. If we're talking about the big fat singular ones with the big shiny butts they're territorial and they will follow you i was all right fun story time i was out in the swamps of the south and i was digging holes through said swamp and i went up to my i finished one and walked up to where my next hole was going to be this makes sense if you know what i'm talking about which you probably don't so work with me anyway i get up there and it's kind of, it's, it's a swamp, but there's like bushes and there's like a little bit of sun. So it was like kind of a really nice spot to have to dig. And this big ass bumblebee comes swinging around the bush and he's like here in my face. And I'm just like, okay, well, I know they won't hurt me. So I'm just kind of like, eh, whatever. So then he starts orbiting my head. <laughs> he just kept flying around my head the entire time I was digging the hole. And so I sealed it up 
And then I was working really hard not to flail at him because like it got annoying. And of course it's your natural reaction to like things fly in your face. You want to do this. So I finish that hole and I walk up. Now I'm walking 30 meters between these holes. So I walk up 30 more meters. That damn bug followed me up to my next hole and started circling my head again. I was just like, all right, buddy, I get it. They're very territorial. Anyway, fun times. Okay, it's gone. Oh, it was massive and it was like furry. I don't even think that was a bumblebee. I don't know what it was. But I think now we're probably gonna go get something to eat. Oh, there she is. Okay. Hey guys, so just got home. My mom dropped me off. We ended up getting Mexican food. I got a chicken chimichanga, which is like one of my favorite things. I know it's not the healthiest. I honestly am on no track, no diet. I haven't weighed myself since you guys last heard about it. Wait, I haven't weighed myself since my first day of living here. Which I think she, I think she weighed it at 508 wasn't it? She said she was 508 that very first day that she weighed herself. Oh my god! I just processed that. How long have I been here for? It's been over two weeks. There we go. Yeah, there's oh, your... I haven't been on track right. for two weeks. She got front, or she's got a... There they are. I don't know, guys. I really don't think she's got a filter on. If she does, it's not... It's not very strong, I guess. It's not a strong filter. Not like Foodie Booties, which I've only really heard about. I don't look at her ever. I don't know what that looks like, um, but I need to know what that looks like. I was actually talking to my mom today about like getting back on track with like a diet or whatever, and she's like, I'll support you. What diet do you want to do? Like when I was doing. La the first time I heard this, the I was watching this too fast to pick up on this one. She's already tested the boundaries with her mom about um, cooking the food too long because Amber doesn't like meat with any kind of moisture in it. And then I wonder how many boundaries are being tested with the driving around and the taking her to the store and the going out to eat kind of a thing. We're not seeing any of that, so we don't know, but I'm assuming there's definitely been some boundary testing there. Amber's been there for at least a week now, if not going, if not starting her second week. Um, I'm sure we can sit down and do a timeline, but she's last time she mentioned she had what the days were that she had been there since she moved. It was like around five or six, I remember. So I'm just assuming she's been there for at least a week now. So now she's doing with her mom what she's done with every one of her partners. And she's doing the whole, should I, shouldn't I go on a diet? If I go on the diet, will you support me? Will you even do the diet with me? I mean, remember how many times her and Becky went on diets together and then becky just stopped doing it because amber's diets started getting weird they instead of doing you know healthy eating and no takeout and the things that you have to do to actually lose weight amber started doing fad diets and that kind of stuff and becky wasn't into that so now we're starting to do that with mama lynn talking with my hands so she really is he really does seem to be projecting onto Mama Lynn the same relationship that she's had with past girlfriends. Not, I'm not saying she's projecting a romantic relationship onto her mother. I'm saying that she's that same caregiver, um, support, friendship that she's had with other, other people in her life she's projecting those aspects onto her mother so that's going to be interesting to see the results of i do because i do believe her mother is trying to be at least a good friend i think the time for mothering has passed but that's a personal opinion i think now she's just trying to repair the relationship the friendship at least that's what it seems to be just from the activities they're doing and that kind of stuff mama lynn has come over and cooked with her they did order food out and ate inside the house so that's those are good signs in my opinion so i don't know i just she definitely is starting to project certain aspects of her past relationships onto her mother now and that only took a week
in OMAD one meal a day, I was losing a lot of weight very quickly. I lost 31 pounds in a month. I just don't think I'm like mentally strong enough to do that right now because that was hard, especially in the beginning, but then like your body gets used to it and then you stop getting like super hungry. Like the science adds up, like one plus one does equal two. Hello, hello. The science, first off, she was never doing OMAD. She was eating twice a day. She even said that herself. So I'm not, I'm not speculating there. Um, I, so first off, she wasn't doing the OMAD thing. I also don't believe she was doing the fasting thing. So there's that. Was she eating two giant meals a day? Maybe. And then snacking her head off. I believe that. I compare Amber, I compare Amber to a lot of the 600 pound life uh, shows that I've been watching again through Shaun of Steel. So I'm comparing her behaviors to the people on that show who are, honestly, I think they're worse than Amber, most of them, if not all of them. They're very manipulative. They're very spoiled. They're very, I don't know if privileged is the word I'm looking for, but they're very demanding. Um, they really know how to get what they want, even though most of them can't even walk. So... Amber definitely has those traits. But I still think the people on 600 Pound Life are worse. Can Amber get to that point? Yes. And I think if Mama Lynn allows that to happen, this, this could turn into that. Could. I'm just speculating here. I'm not saying I've seen any signs that it is going to. But of all of the caretakers that Amber has had, the one that probably isn't going to completely bail on her at this point is probably going to be her mother. So of all the caretakers that could allow Amber to get to bed bound immobile, I'm worried, worried Mama Lynn might be the person. I don't know yet though. It's been a week we don't really know. I don't really know a lot about Mama Lynn's personality right now. We'll see more as we go, obviously, because she's really hanging out with her mom pretty much every day. That's going to get dry eventually, I'm sure, because Mama has a boyfriend. So I'm pretty sure he's not going to be OK with like Amber hanging out constantly with them being the third wheel. I don't know. Maybe maybe he will. I don't know. All right. Onward the next day so i'm just going to continue on the vlog i'm wearing no foundation or anything so so if you notice like a difference i don't know for me i could definitely tell everyone is their own like worst enemy critic whatever it may be i honestly can't tell when she's got foundation on and when she doesn't i mean maybe her skin especially if it's fresh foundation maybe her skin looks a little better but she never finishes the foundation like she never powders it or anything so it, she never sets it i guess is my point and that the powder definitely, that's where that really nice blur effect seems to come from is the powders, especially the ones I buy. So no, I'm not wearing any foundation today. I'm just naturally this gorgeous. Sorry. I just felt like my actual skin just needs a moment, a moment to breathe. So I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I woke up today extremely depressed because I'm just gonna say my love life. We're just gonna go with that. I'm not allowed to like go into details, but I'm just like tired of just hurting. I'm, I'm really tired. Oh. Okay, so maybe this will change going forward in the video, but awkward conversation, cover your children's ears. Amber's been wearing that heart. And in the comments section, I've seen a couple people mention it too. Because I was like, I can't remember exactly when she got it. Apparently, that's the Gucci jewelry heart that was one of the first gifts that Feline got her. Now, I mentioned that it's very much reminiscent of a collar. And it's a day collar that you would put on your... I don't have a way of putting this without getting flagged. So it's a collar that you would give to your passive friend to wear during the day, but still have that mark of ownership on them. Um, 
Amber has been wearing that since Amber's been wearing that for a while now in the videos and she even commented on it in this video. But she doesn't have it on right now. Now, that could be because the chain might be too fragile to sleep in and that's fine or maybe she's I don't like to sleep in my chain necklaces. I don't sleep in necklaces at all. So I'm always terrified I'm going to choke myself in the middle of the night. She does sleep with that damn choker on, though. That thing apparently never leaves her body. And does she sleep in her earrings? How do you sleep in earrings? Especially, I mean, like, posts I get, but these dangly earrings? I, that's... How do you sleep in those without yanking them out of your ear? Jeez. Anyway, um, my point about the necklace, though, is it's not on right now. Again, I just woke up, so maybe she didn't sleep in it but let's go forward and see if she ever puts it on today we have rarity hi baby girl what did you do here okay are you giving mama lovins yeah <laughs> so i sat in bed for hours after i woke up and i didn't get up and that's when i knew like well i'm depressed because i have not done that in a very long time so i seven days maybe six days okay yeah that seven days is a long time for amber we forget that forced myself to get up i forced myself to eat something even though i did not want to at all and then i forced myself to do some makeup so i can film because i don't like filming without it anymore it's just like a thing but you didn't put foundation on so all you did was put your eyeballs on I'm checking my eyebrows before I get spicy. And you didn't do your eyebrows. Of course, she never shapes her eyebrows anyway. <clears throat> and nothing against people who like natural looking eyebrows, but not my thing. I know it looks like I do, but I just like a nice full eyebrow. No one gives a shit about the eyebrows. Keep keep going. Now I'm going to force myself to just like force clean. Because myself. cleaning is super therapeutic to me. I'm going to clean things that don't even need to be cleaned. So that is literally going to be my day today. So I... I honestly can't tell if she's being deceptive. I assume she is, but I can't tell if she was being deceptive or if she was just going through her laundry list of things she wanted to accomplish that day. Like, I'm going to go clean. I'm going to, uh, what, what all did she say? Oh, I'm, I'm going to make myself eat breakfast. I'm going to make myself get out of bed. I'm going to uh, make myself go do the dishes. I mean, that, when she looks down, over and down, she's in her... That's where she goes to think. That's where a lot of people, most people go to think there, actually. So that's, I couldn't tell if she was drifting into her deception zone or if she was just thinking. So I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt and just say she was thinking. She just was going through her laundry list. I have not even used my bathroom door, which is right here, because I still have these that I have to get rid of. There used to be so many. And you're supposed to I'm going to assume that she has two entrances into her bathroom. If it's part of the master suite, that makes sense. So this must be the community door, for lack of a better term, and she must be using the master bedroom door. Because otherwise, I'm very confused. Where have you been going to the bathroom? I set them out for trash valet, but I feel bad. So I've only put out like one to two a day. So the pile has very much lessened, but it's happening very slow. Cause I don't want to, I don't know. I just don't want to bombard them with a bunch of boxes. It's okay. They're an apartment building. If they're like mine, they have a whole section just for your cardboard boxes. Like you can take all of them there. I do know you can take like these, these boxes here that are still in really good shape. A lot of places have, a lot of places, places like Home Depot and um, sometimes even the Goodwills will take these boxes and give them out to people who need moving boxes. So I do know there's a way to like donate these basically to people who need moving boxes and don't want to pay $19 million for moving boxes. So that's what we did. I would recommend doing that. But you do kind of have to look for where you can drop those off. These ones they wouldn't have taken anyway, so those you have to those would have to go. 
And then my grandma actually let me use this mattress for when I first moved in because my stuff wasn't supposed to be here on time. But it's finally getting picked up today, so I'm actually gonna be able to use this door. I actually need to set out these guys tonight for the trash valet, just these two right here. The trash oh valet. Oh my god, look at all this space. Even Rarity's like, what? I had one of those. Cool sink. Oh, and there's the scale that she never uses. It's right in front of the sink. You want me to believe you haven't been weighing yourself when your scale is literally in front of your sink? Amber. Amber. At least put some effort into it. At least slide it under the drawers here where it looks like you can't reach it. Um, she said trash valet. The first set of apartments we moved into here had that. And it was weird. It was very strange. So we had to put our trash out in the hallway and we were only allowed to put certain things out at certain times. So with the boxes, yeah, she might be limited to the number of boxes she can put out at a time. It was very strange. Like nothing stopped us from taking our garbage to the trash ourselves. Like that wasn't an issue, but like you were only allowed one or two bags of trash uh, and they would only pick up once. They only picked up once a week. It was very much like having like a trash man. Um, so if you produce more than two bags of trash, you had to take it out yourself. And it's just like, well, why don't I just always take my trash out? Also, we don't produce that much trash, but still the point is if you were a household of like six, you're probably producing more than two bags of trash in a week. You know, somebody still has to take the trash out or you have to sit on the bags until, you know, whatever. I didn't like it, I guess is my point. But if you were somebody who was, um in need of that kind of a thing like you're not physically capable of taking the bags out yourself or you know if you're kind of housebound for various reasons or if you're amber probably that's very nice it's probably a really nice thing it is very limiting in my opinion but it does it is a thing that will make your life easier in certain situations so i'm not knocking it i just didn't like it because i am a special princess who must have my trash taken out when i want to take it out speaking of which i should probably take my trash out what is happening? I've been here for over two weeks and it just feels like a completely new place now because this space is free. My mom's boyfriend is literally the sweetest thing. I turned my back. I'm going to guess she has the one bathroom and that it's one of those like has two sets of doors to it kind of a situation. Situation type deal. And he's hooking up my TV for me and I didn't even ask him to. So now I officially have my TV going. Hey guys, so it is the next day. So it's three days in one vlog, which I mean, at least it's not a see-through shirt. We still got the boob window going on, but whatever. Which I don't like doing, but we've hit a little low moment with my mental health, which is okay. I kind of have to ride the wave. Um, right now it feels like I'm drowning, but someone close to me recently said, learn to swim. So I'm doing that. I do know how to swim in real life though. I used to love swimming. Anyway, so my cat Rarity slept on me last night, slept on my chest, so my eyes. Um, right now it feels like I'm drowning, but someone close to me recently said, learn to swim. So <laughs> I like to swim so much that I took my dog out into a lake and almost drowned him. So I'm doing that. I do know how to swim in real life though. I used to love swimming. Anyway, so my cat Rarity slept on me last night, slept on my chest. So my eye is kind of having a moment because I'm allergic to my- My cats don't sleep on me. I used to have a cat that would do that, but that was because he was incredibly old and he was actually sucking my body heat off of me. My poor little vampire boy. I miss him. But um, the cats I have now, one of them will only sleep between my feet in a way that he like, pins me down with the comforter he's a very he's the big ass cat and then the white one likes to sleep between my partner and i to the point where i'm really honestly concerned about rolling over and smothering him one day i'm just cutting those straps off anyway i'm really concerned about rolling over and smothering him one day and i can't get him to stop he loves it but he doesn't sleep on us he will occasionally sleep on my comforter in a way that I've got the one cat pinning my legs down and then he'll sleep on the other side of me, pinning me down even further. And it's just like, I can't move. <laughs> cats. My cats, as you guys know, but I'm about to go walk Twinkie. I'm not having a good day, but I feel like my day is going to get better. Uh, my mom and her boyfriend are coming over and we're going to cook grandma's recipe. I've she didn't put the necklace back on. And it's the next day. Hmm. Relationship problems. The day collar's not on anymore. Hmm. Hmm. I need to do a rune reading. Not that I really care. I'm just nosy. So, 
I still like, I'm sorry, I still like those sunglasses. And didn't she just get done saying, I don't like when my hair is up in a bun. It doesn't feel like me. And yet she's going to go outside and walk the dog with a poop bun. Okay. I actually made this on my blog before. It's just like a family recipe that um, my mom showed me when I was a little girl and we would have growing up. So it's like near, dear, close to my heart. And I grew up with it. So I think that's why I like it. And it's very weird because like I said, I showed it in a vlog. I can't even tell you how long ago, like eight years ago. Speaking of... Um, this month, by the way, is my decade birthday of being on YouTube. So happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Her, she started in November, didn't she? Not to speed the day along too, the month along too much, but it's only the 25th as of this recording. I, I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure going back and watching... Uh, Mr. Snowflake's stuff, as I've been doing. Um, didn't she start in, like, mid-November? No! Never mind. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. She did start in late October. Because the first hurdle she hit was around Thanksgiving. Never mind. She's correct. I'm wrong. Birthday to you all. Happy birthday to this freaking channel. Like, well, thank you for the happy birthday, Amber. How did you know it was my birthday? Anyway, somebody famous said happy birthday to me. Yay! <laughs> I'm taking it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave me alone. It's, I'm taking this one. A full decade. I can officially say Amberlynn Reed has been on YouTube for 10 years. And I'm not going to lie to you. It has been a rocky, rocky, rocky ride. But I have met amazing people. Was it the rocky road to Dublin? On the rocky road to Dublin. So to la -di -da. I don't remember all the words. If you don't know who the Dropkick Murphys are, I pity you. Um... Has it been a rocky 10 years? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, look how far she's grown, you know? Um, her channel started off basically this with people. And now we're all alone in our very own apartment for the very first time in our 32-year life. We're finally living as an adult adult in our own apartment i mean i'm i'm really getting the vibes of when i very first moved out into my very first apartment which was my freshman year of college so do the math that's how long ago it was but i i get that feeling that very you don't have a lot of furniture because you're new and it's poor and whatever you have is probably a hand-me-down or it's something that you brought with you from your teenage bedroom kind of a situation um I didn't have a lot of, like, clothes then. I mean, clothes. I didn't have an aesthetic or a style then. I was still just wearing, like, grunge because I had just gotten out of high school, basically. Um, that kind of a thing. You know, you're, you're using pots and pans that were either gifted to you and they're already ancient or you've bought at Goodwill, so they're very used. You're, none of your silverware matches, you know, that kind of stuff. I, I can rom I can romanticize that because, you know, that was my first step into adulthood. You know, I, I moved out of my parents' house. I was in my apartment that I was paying for with my money. I was going to college. I did not do well my first semester um, because it was just a lot. Warnings for those of you who are getting ready to go to college. Uh, your first year is rough, so prepare for that. and Maybe you'll do better than I did, is my point. But so I really, I do feel that, but she's 32. I, I was 10 years younger than she was when I got my first place. I didn't have my first roommate until I was 23. And pretty much since I was 23, I've either had a roommate or I've been with my partner. So that makes life a lot easier. And it also allows you to live someplace nicer because you've got two incomes. But I'm just saying. People, I have had amazing things happen to me because of YouTube. I've documented so much of my life, but I've right. also left so much out. For the lack of a better term, YouTube has actually been a blessing for me. And I'm so appreciative to all of you. So, wow. Um, here's to another decade. Can you imagine in 20 years? I'm like, hey, y'all. I'm 42. Still on YouTube. Still doing my damn thing. That would I mean, okay. I hope, I hope you are. I truly hope 
that in 10 more years, when you turn the most important number in the universe, the answer to life, the universe, and everything, I hope you make it to 42. I honestly hope. Honestly? on Yeah, that's how you say it. Anyway, I honestly hope you make it to 42. No bullshit. Am I concerned that that won't happen? Quite. Now, if she does make it to 42, am I going to be here doing this still? I don't know. I'm, I'm almost positive there's going to be a point where Amber's just going to be... I mean, I'm just going to be repeating. I'm already repeating myself. So... I just feel like there's going to be a point eventually where it's just not going to be fun for me anymore. When I watch Kicking Geese, who has been following Amber for much longer than I have and has been reacting to Amber for much longer, obviously, I think for like six or seven years like that or something. Um, every now and then, uh, Kicking Geese will say something to the effect of Amber's just boring. I just don't want to react to Amber anymore. And she's not saying it out of malice. She's saying it because Amber is... Amber can be very dull. Uh, like the last two vlogs and kind of this one. The first half of it anyway. Yeah, she's getting out. Yeah, she's doing things. I'm glad for her. But... Is it entertaining? Is it interesting? No. So, I don't know. Will I still be here 10 years from now? Maybe. Will Amber be here 10 years from now? God, I hope so. I really do hope so. That would be crazy. So for the recipe, um, you need soy sauce, eggs, scallions, bacon, and spaghetti. That is literally all. I don't know if I've ever seen her make this recipe. And honestly, it looks good. All you need. So we just got back from the store, so I wanted to show you what you needed for the recipe. But mm. I also got some things that are not for the recipe. These are like my favorite. It's guacamole Takis. I got some pork tamales. Peppered salami. I was craving turkey meatballs, so got that. And I got some Amy's. I got the vegetable lasagna, the pesto tortellini, and the tortilla casserole and black bean bowl. Oh. So it's like fried rice without fried rice it's fried rice with spaghetti i don't hate this idea it's a little weird but i don't hate this idea i don't know how the egg's gonna work the egg is gonna work out would work out for me obviously she likes it do i think that's everything amber bought that seems very light there's no meals there, except for the frozen meals, obviously. But there's no meals there. Um, salami's a snack food. Yeah, she eats those meatballs by themselves. But as far as, far as being satiated, I don't see that filling her up more than once. Um, what else did she get? Snack foods. And tamales. I just There's just not a lot of food there. So, one of the reasons why I'm willing to buy that Amber is losing weight, not just because her cheekbones are coming out and her neck does appear to be slimming down. I know y'all say it's filters. I just don't know. I just don't know if I think that's real. Um, but the other reason why I'm willing to believe she's losing weight is because if this is all the food she has in the house, unless she's ordering out, which I would fully believe that she is doing, if this is all she's eating, it's not enough. It wouldn't be enough for me. So there's no way it's enough for her. So if you're just eating so little, then yeah, you would be losing weight. Is what I'm saying. Which is, again, why I wish she'd weigh in. She might be in the fours. That would be great. I'm trying to think. Since I've started watching her. Was she in her four, she, the high 400s when she was, when I started watching her? Or was she already in the fives? Anyway. Okay, so my mom and her boyfriend just left. Since she cooked, I will be cleaning up the kitchen because it is a mess.
So dinner was amazing. It definitely reminded me of I don't know what I'm happy doing, moments duck in my books. childhood because it is something that we would have a lot. And it's crazy because my mom actually doesn't even like soy sauce that much and that's like one of the main ingredients. Like it adds a good amount of the flavor, obviously. But it's because it's soy sauce. It's, it's salt. The salt's delicious. I know there's more to soy sauce than just it being liquid salt, but it's it's effectively just liquid salt. Now, dark soy sauce does have its own, like, distinct flavor, but they're just using the store-bought kikuman, so... It's still something that we had growing up, and we enjoyed it. Okay, so I got all of this cleaned up and wiped down, and now I have all of these dishes to do. Okay, hello. So I finished my dishes. Hi. Your girl is a little red. I'm having a buzz ball. Um, this is actually my second one. I'm probably just going to have uh, the one I just had and then this one and call it a day because they're very strong. But I'm just kind of like winding down for the night. I'm going to finish. I finally saw those in the store again. Uh, whatever. Just editing this vlog. I hope that you guys did enjoy it and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Hello. Hmm. Honestly, this one was better than the last two. It really was. There's more was going on. There was more variety. Yeah, we had to sit there and watch her push buttons, but at least she was outside of the house. I'm not going to knock that too much. Too much. So she went to the casino. That was great. Uh, she mentioned she went out to eat with her mom, but they were outside of the house. I'm not... Probably there were leftovers and maybe she's sustaining herself off of that. They obviously went to the grocery store. We didn't get to see that again. Why wouldn't you film that? Um, the grocery haul was nice. I don't know if I believe that's everything she bought, but I don't have a reason not to. Other than it's Amber. Which is, I mean... We're gonna start working on giving her the benefit of the doubt. Uh, what else? How long do I think her and her mother's... How long do I think her mother and her mother's boyfriend are going to be willing to just... Take care of her? She's only been here a week little over a week now going on two weeks so again we're still in the honeymoon phase and all that um other things oh the collar's back on oh well, maybe she just wasn't wearing it for two days then um yeah the mysterious gucci collar i think now that she knows that we're watching it i think she's gonna use it more do i care about the relationship crap not really um do I believe she is having relationship issues? I don't know, you guys. I don't see Feline. I don't see Feline coming back. And I also don't see Feline tolerating the behavior that Amber pulls when she breaks up with somebody. So is she talking to somebody? I don't know. Is she just lonely? Yes, probably. That's probably more what it is. She's just lonely and she can't find a girlfriend. And it's going to be hard for her to find a girlfriend. A, she's in Oklahoma. I don't know what the scene looks like there. And B, it's, she's not really a catch. So finding somebody is going to be a little difficult. Um, shit, if I were completely single and I had to start dating today, I'm not entirely sure I'd find anybody either. It's The dating world's kind of rough for everybody. Um... Anything else I want to say? I do notice that she, again, I, I said this earlier, but I do notice that she is starting to project rela certain relationship aspects onto her mother, caregiver style ones, not romantic, not saying that, but the whole talking to her mom about getting back on track and then getting her mother's approval for it and like kind of getting a needing her mother to support her or be the support for her to even attempt to get back on track it's not she's not doing it for herself she's not doing it because she thinks it's a good idea she's asking her mother if it's a good idea and it's kind of like when she asks the audience stupid questions and then she gets negative feedback and she listens to the negative feedback and then she's like, see you guys, I failed because of you. It, it very much has that vibe to it. We'll learn more as we go. As we go. That kind of a thing. Um, what else? 
I don't know, the Gucci necklace, the heart necklace, I don't know. It's just a fun thing to watch and a fun thing to, like, speculate about. Do I care? No. Um, I do wish she'd weigh in. I would like to know how much she weighs. I don't know if we're ever going to get one of those. However, she does have the scale immediately under her sink, which we know she stands at quite a bit because she films there. I don't not believe she hasn't been weighing herself. I think she has been weighing herself. Her weight's not where she wants it to be. And that therefore she's not sharing it with us. I don't know. Who knows with Amber? Anything else? Nope, I think we're good. All right, so let's see. Oh, we went to the casino. Yeah, okay. So we went to the casino. Leave me your best gambling slash casino emoji down in the comment section. I think there's at least a pair of dice, isn't there? Anyway, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section. Leave a comment if you would like. And... Don't forget to hit the like button, ding ding. And yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Bye!